Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Monday, May 24th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about a bet I like right now on NBA Futures after the first game has been played in these NBA playoff series. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, we all know that the Clippers tanked the last two games of the season so that they would be out of range for the Los Angeles Lakers, right? So the Clippers ended up the fourth seed, and they're playing the Dallas Mavericks, the five seed. The Clippers are a much better defensive team, right? Case in point, game one, a game they lost by 10 to the Mavericks in the playoffs. The Clippers, of course, had seven blocks. The Mavericks had three. The Clippers had seven steals. The Mavericks only had two, right? And because the Clippers, of course, have picked up Rage and Rondo, the Clippers had fewer turnovers, five turnovers to 12 by the Mavericks. Now, the reason the Mavericks won the game is because the Clippers, for some odd reason, had no answers whatsoever for Luka Doncic and because the Mavericks threw out a performance, threw down a performance that, quite frankly, I don't think they'll be able to repeat. So, for the game, the Mavericks, even with the defensive stats thrown down by the Clippers, right, block steals, the Mavericks for the game hit 47.2%. Again, 47.2% as a team of their three-point shots, right? They also hit 50% from the field. So... They were hitting shots, folks, right? Whether from two or from three, they were hitting shots at a very high percentage. Well, I don't think that's going to continue. I think the Clippers, uh, who've been in tank mode, right, will get out of tank mode. In these playoffs, sooner or later, defense starts to take over. I consider the Clippers to be a sleeper to come out of the West, you're getting them right now. Forget the, forget the series price where you could get the Clippers at a minus 155, right? We want leverage. We want to take advantage of a lot of fans saying, what's up with this LA team, right? You can get the Clippers right now at a plus 800 to win the whole thing. Right? Understand, those bets are really just plays that you can then make strategic hedges on later. All you want is the endowment so you can make the hedge later. So if the Clippers, if you get the Clippers at 8 to 1 to win the whole thing, then later, if the Clippers end up playing a Utah, which in my opinion is still viable, a Phoenix, still viable, a Laker team, still viable, then you can look at the lay of the land, look at the injuries, and make moves. Look at Mitchell, whether he's back, how he looks, LeBron, whether LeBron's able to score more than 18 with that ankle in the playoffs, in a game, this postseason, and you can make the adjustment. So the bet I like here, even though they lost game one at home by 10, is to take the Clippers on an NBA future to win it all. If you're one of these incremental bettors who needs to get a rate of return and can't wait to hedge down the road, who doesn't want to get profits through hedging, who doesn't believe in capital gains, okay, then take the Clippers at a minus 155 to win the series. Understand, the Mavs are the fifth seed. Understand, the Mavs have defensive liabilities. Understand, the Clippers shot poorly against the Mavs in game one. They only hit 
27.5% of their threes. And understand, they had 40 three-point attempts. So you have the Mavs hitting 17 of 36 threes, 47.2%. And you had the Clippers hitting 11 of 40, 27.5%. I think those numbers are going to change. I think the Clippers are going to revert to the mean. Right now, they're playing beneath themselves. I think the Clippers come back and win this series. The way I'm playing it is to add a little to the Clippers to win it all. You're now getting the Clippers at plus 800. Right? Um, I... I'm not going to argue with folks who say, hey, I'm just going series by series. You're getting the Clippers now at a minus 155 to win this series against the fifth seed Dallas Mavericks. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.